Hello children, welcome to story time with Miss Nidhi. Today I have a very interesting story for all of you to read along with me. We are going to look for something and you know what's gone missing? Can you guess? No? Then let me tell you, today the moon has gone missing. Can you imagine? Moon has gone missing. Maisha and Kuchli are up to a mission to find the moon that where she went all of a sudden. So let's get started with our story today and meet Maisha, Kuchli, Moon and few other friends of ours who are going to help us find the moon because there is no moonlight and it is very difficult to look for moon without any light. So we have special friends in our story today. So the title of today's story is The Night the Moon Went Missing. The author of the story is Shriya Yadav and illustrations are done by Sunena Kohelo. Let's get started. Late one night, when her Amma and Achin are fast asleep, <laughs> Maisha grabs her goggles and sneaks out of the house. Maisha loves the beach at night and one of her best friends lives there in the sea. Maisha goes to their usual meeting place on the beach and calls out, Uchli, Uchli, are you there? She can sit here for hours watching Uchli fly in and out of the water. Uchli is a flying fish who loves to show off his tricks. You know, when we lived in Japan, we had a river stream flowing right in front of our house and there used to be so many flying fishes, but you could see them only late in the evening, just like Maisha's friend Uchli. And it is such a beautiful sight to see them jump in and out of the water. But today, here in the story, Uchli is looking very worried, which is very unusual. She isn't very happy. What's the matter? Maisha asks. Why do you look so upset? Can't you see? He says. The moon is missing. The moon? Uchli is right. Their friend is not in the sky tonight. In fact, there is a big hole where the moon should be. But we saw her just last night, Maisha exclaims. She rose from the sea right here in front of all of us. Do you think she's lost underwater? We have to find her, Uchli says. But how will we see anything without the moonlight? Maisha asks. Just then, Uchli notices something in the water. Every time a wave breaks in the distance, little sparks of light glow and fade and then glow again. Do you know why it happens? Because of some of special friends of Uchli's. Let me tell you. Maisha! He shouts excited. I have an idea. Get on my back. Let's go to those waves. Over there, there. Can you see? Over there we go. When they reach the lights, Maisha takes a deep breath. Can you all try taking a deep breath? Try. Holds Uchli tightly and see, they are all ready to go. Maisha gasps. She feels like she is floating in a sky full of stars. There are tiny creatures glowing all around her. Wow! Who are they? She whispers to Uchli. Like this. They are planting. Maybe they can help light our way in the sea. Uchili says, Will you share your light with us? Maisha asks one of them. The moon is missing and we need some light to find her. You will need more than just my light, the planter says. Let me ask my friends if they can help too. 
Soon, Maisha and Uchi are joined by an army of little creatures with their flickering lights. Now, where can the moon be? Maisha wonders. I can help you. A deep booming voice says near Maisha's ears. She spins around. The eight arms of a firefly squid give a back at her. His body is covered in neon blue lights. I saw the moon go this way just a little while ago. At first, Maisha is scared of the long tentacles, but she knows the firefly squids. Light can help him see better underwater. Lead the way, she says. The squid wraps a tentacle around Maisha's finger. Hold on tight. Then Maisha, Uchi, the glowing plantain and the firefly squid all swim down together. Down, down, down they go where to the water is very dark. But the plantain glow brighter and the squid flashes his light. There's still no moon in their sight. They are wondering what's happening, why we are not able to find the moon. Then they meet an angler fish out on a hunt. She has sharp teeth. Mm, but Maisha is not scared anymore, you know. Hello, she says. We are looking for the moon. Have you seen her around? Yes, says the angler fish. I saw her swimming with some moon fish a few hours ago. Follow me. So now, can you recall who all are there? Maisha, Uchli, the squid, and the plantain, and the angular fish. So, Maisha, Uchli, the squid, and the plantain follow the green lure of the angular fish. The light from the glowing animals falls like a spotlight on the dark ocean floor. Suddenly, Maisha sees something bright under a rock. It's the moon! Help! Help! Squeaks the moon. I am stuck! The squid lifts the rock with his tentacles. Hooray! Everyone shouts as the pale moon slips out. What happened? Uchili asks. I came here to meet my cousins, the moonfish, says the moon. I got lost on my way back when my light began to fade and then I got stuck under this rock. <gasps> Thank you for coming to rescue me. So, this is where you are when you're not in the sky, Maisha says. The moon smiles and begins to float up towards the surface. Finally, she jumps up into the sky. Uchili and Maisha wave goodbye to their new friends and swim back to the beach in the moonlight. The stars under the sea continue to shine deep into the night. So children, would you like to know a little more about these friends who made it like for Uchli and Maisha today. So meet these light makers. Did you know that many animals both above and under the water are able to make their own lights? So I'll begin with the tiny lanterns that Maisha and Uchli meet glow to scare away the animals that might eat them. So when they sense movement in the water, the plankton let out bright sparks as a warning. Sometimes waves and boat traffic also trigger this light. So while plankton animals have a chemical in them that helps them glow, the firefly squid has special organs called photophores that produce its light. Thousands of these light producing photophores on the squid's body flash to attract food, impress a mate or confuse a predator. Isn't that interesting? And let's see what is the anglerfish has. The lures of anglerfish get their light from the glowing bacteria that live inside them. Many plants and animals glow above the water too. 
Have you ever seen fireflies? So fireflies, some mushrooms and even you emit a tiny amount of light every day. So wasn't it fun meeting our light emitting animals today? We will meet some more friends coming forward in the next stories. So stay tuned, keep listening to my stories and you all keep reading and before you leave, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. So every time Miss Nidhi posts a new story, you all will get a notification for the new story upload. See you, bye-bye.